my older video it told me that people a lot of people ask me how do i get the ip on the scala cube so what you're gonna do is head over here to uh, your servers list so i'm clicking my server list right here and then you obviously want to renew your server so while that is renewing i will show you guys that you know have your servers you can get a new server like this all that but you know you don't have to do that if you don't want to so oh you have here a managed server and in this managed server in this game service area you should see this this right here is your ip so you can copy it and here is your manage area. So what I could do is copy this IP right here. And I can put it in Minecraft. And it'll load. Um, these servers are automatically uh, cracked. Because in this little configuration thing here. It says cracked. They have a pretty nice looking console right here. And whenever you turn it on. Like... So, turn on. It starts processing at first, but it looks really nice. You know, it has clean animations, clean pictures, and all that. And look. See? You can do commands like slash say hello. And it will load, and it's pretty nice. If you guys want to know how to actually make a server, you can watch my last vid, and... You can need to see it. Like right here, you can host a Minecraft Pocket Edition server as well for those people who want you know, host a Pocket Edition server. There's all these different servers. They have servers for all of these games right now. Rust, Ark, Survival, Hytale, CSGO, Starbound, Terraria, Realheim, all of that. And they have all these that are coming out soon. But for now, they only have these. Here, uh, I'm going to head over here to the reviews. And I'm going to look at the Minecraft servers. Uh, very good and reliable. So far, service has been great and well worth the money. Having a good time. Scalacube is a great way to make a modded or vanilla server on Minecraft. Scalacube has great managing and is very easy to make and have fun in. thing with Scalacube is that its setup is so simple that anyone can make a server through here as long as they know what direction to go in. You know, I actually made servers through here and it's really nice because they have 6 gigabytes of RAM and some nice uh, storage so you don't have to worry about all that. But one thing is that uh, for some reason, some commands don't work in console like usual. And you have to refresh it. So, yeah. But if you guys liked this video, like, subscribe.